In this video, I'm going to show you how you can display your Facebook live comments within OBS or using OBS just like this. What's up guys, my name is Sam from Live Production Tips and Tools. If you're new here, consider joining the family by subscribing and let's navigate the live streaming world together. If you use Facebook Live and OBS and you want to display the live uh, comments as people, you know, sending some comments and chat. One of the popular ways to do it is actually to use some paid uh, software like vMix, uh, Ecamm Live, StreamYard. But the only problem, obviously, is the fact that you have to pay for it, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily um, display those comments from Facebook Live using OBS. So let's not take much time, let's get right into it. I'm already live streaming on Facebook right now. I'm sending some comments to myself, as you can see. Okay, let's go to Google uh, and type in uh, Stream Labs OBS. Uh, let's take this one, the second one, which is uh, the streamlabs.com. Uh, okay, so for the first time, I'm gonna need you to uh, log in or create an account. Okay, and from here, this is very important. Okay, you're gonna need to log in actually using your Facebook account that you're gonna be using to live stream. So let's go ahead and go to continue with Facebook. Okay, as you can see, I'm already connected. So you're gonna go ahead and continue as your name. Okay, this is my name. Okay. All right, so as you can see here in the top, on the top corner, Okay, this is my uh, live production tips and tools page connected. And as you can see, it's Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to show you actually how you do that. At first, when you start, let's go back a little bit. Okay, see here it says continue as you know your name. You can go here to edit settings. Okay, and then when you get here, you can see you, you have like all the pages right all my pages all the pages that i manage okay and what you have to do is to choose the one that you want to be uh you're gonna be live streaming from okay so once you choose it just check it and then click next and then whatever it says you just say done everything agree to everything okay then you're gonna get this message click okay okay so as you can see, make sure in the on the top, in the corner here, always make sure you, you see the logo of the page you're streaming on, okay? What happens sometimes is, um, sometimes when you do it the first time, actually happened to me, we kind of try to use your personal Facebook account. So make sure this is not your Facebook, your personal Facebook account, unless that's the one you're using. But if you're using your page live stream, make sure that your page is uh showing here okay they say in case you logged in and you realize that your page is not showing then you need to go to account here and then go to facebook pages okay and as you can see you have two options okay so if let's say this if your um your personal main facebook page was the one connected you have this checked okay so this is not what you want unless that's where you're going to be live streaming from. You want to go to your page. So your page should, should show right here. So you want to make sure it's checked and then save preferences. And you should be able to see appear to see it here uh, or see this icon appear here. OK, so the next step is to go to all widgets here. So click to all widgets. And what you're going to see here is basically uh, all these tabs. And I'm going to need you to go to chat box. Okay. This is what we need. Okay. And it's going to show you some tutorials and everything. No, don't need it for now. Okay. Yeah. So the first time you open it, it's going to look like this. Okay. So for me, I like the boxed option. Okay. 
this is how your comments are going to show okay as you can see they show you an example and the rest honestly another settings that i change um this is an option to keep your message on the on the screen okay so if you want your message to stay on the screen then you can check this so every time people are chatting it's gonna keep coming in which i kind of recommend because you still have an option to turn it off within obs because if you don't do this um and then it's gonna give you this option of have some like seconds so if you put 55 seconds or 60 seconds that means every time somebody sends in a chat it's gonna stay for 60 seconds and it's gonna disappear for me i like to kind of have the message like to always show and then i can uh turn it on or you know yeah turn it on or off whenever i want it to go so i kind of want to have the control okay and the rest honestly i didn't change much but you can go ahead and change whatever you want here and once you're done click save settings okay now what we need is this url here okay this is the link we're gonna need to take back to obs okay before we go to obs i need to copy um this link right here okay and go ahead and go to obs okay i already have this scene created ready for me so i'm gonna go ahead and add uh, a browser source okay to this uh, scene which is gonna be let's go ahead add a browser source and let's call it facebook chat and then click ok and then i'm gonna paste the link that i just copied okay and i like to change the size to 1920 by uh 1080 okay and i delete all this and uh, that's it for now okay click okay and so this is supposed to be our chat okay now as you can see i already have the chat in okay you can see i have everything all the messages that i've been sending let's say if i go back to facebook right now and facebook live say hello this is another chat as you can see boom it's there okay now the way it looks it doesn't really look that well we kind of have to tweak it and make it look professional but for me because as you keep sending comments they're gonna go kind of all over your face so it's not gonna look good okay uh some other people will kind of keep it like small and then keep it on the side like this but for me it's still not big enough i feel like it's too small and if people uh, let's say if people are watching on mobile phones which is very common for facebook live a lot of people are watching you uh, from mobile phone it's gonna look really really too small and personally i think it wouldn't be worth it okay what i'm gonna do i'm gonna need you to hit alt on your keyboard okay and we're going to resize this thing or crop it okay so personally i like to crop it to two comments okay so instead of showing all the comments just show only two comments okay and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna resize here as well so i assume people you know may type long chats but it's not not gonna go over let's say something like this uh something like this so kind of like kind of have a nice framing uh if you live streaming you know with uh, an image like what you see right now of me so something like this i think would be ideal now let's make it a little bigger okay so people can see actually what's going on i think this is a decent size yeah i think this is fine okay uh it's not too aggressive it's not all over my face okay so whenever it's ready i can just do this okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add um a color source okay just call it color source it's fine okay and i'm gonna select the color i'm gonna make it 100 percent black 
click OK. I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and I'm going to resize it. Something like this. And I'm going to make sure it's under Facebook chat. So it's kind of behind. OK. All right. So as you can see, um, this looks better. If you want to be extra uh, fancy, you can add another uh, another color source. Let's say color two. And this time, let's pick something that kind of goes with my branding, which is this color and click OK. Click OK and my, I'm, I'm going to hold Alt and kind of, you know, resize it as well. OK. But this time I'm going to have it behind the black, uh, right in front of the black. So in between the black and the Facebook chat somewhere here. And I'm going to kind of, let's see. See, so something like this again, it's not perfect, it's not 100% perfect, but you can go ahead and be creative and design some, you know, some cool looking graphics like a lower third. Okay, but for me, this looks okay. Okay, so this is you, you live. Okay, and these are your comments. So people be sending in comments, and uh, what you're gonna see is uh, let's say this is send another comment. Hey, see the comment is coming in. I have another question. See, so as you can see, questions keep coming in and then as they come in, they're going to appear here and the other one is going to kind of move is going to move up. Once your account is connected, you can have your scene, you know, leave it like this. This is my scene, not gonna change it. Every time you open, your information is saved within Streamlabs. Even if you, you, you kinda, let me just show you. Even right now, I can kinda, you know, close it, okay? So my information with my page, every time it's like my comments are kinda embedded within Streamlabs. And anytime I go live, I can simply, whatever comments I have, uh, let's say, hey, I'm just typing a, another comment. Hello. Okay. As you can see, I'm sending a comment. I'm still live on Facebook. Let's wait and see. My Streamlabs is closed. Takes a little bit of time to appear. There you go. So as you can see, the comment is right there. If you use YouTube Live and you want to know how to show your comments and respond uh, in real time. I have done another video actually showing you how to do that using OBS. Make sure you check it out right here and I'll see you guys there. Take care.